Hello everyone, this is a video that is going to cover the unboxing and some uh, information that's not readily available on the Burris XTR2 uh, scope. This particular one is the 1.5 by 8 zoom by 28 millimeter. Uh, in front of you is the uh, box that comes in. Some quick details about it. Uh, this is the uh, kit, item 201011. Uh, this includes both the scope, the uh, Burris AR pepper mount, um, the Burris Fast Fire 3, and the scope mount. So let's go ahead and crack it open. All right, I've already opened it and played around with it, but you get your standard set of manuals, a little uh, uh, optic wipe, the uh, user kit for both the scope and the burst fast fire, and you get a couple of different Allen wrenches. Um, over here you get a decent little precision screwdriver for adjusting. Here's your scope itself. And lastly, we get a, I guess it's a rain shield sun cover for the fast fire. So let's get these out of the way. All right, so here we have the scope. It's a little bit longer than I had uh, expected when I purchased it. Um, this is exactly how it came. There have been no mods to it. So, I included your uh, covers. Alright, so let's start talking about some details here. Uh, once again, this is the Burris XTR2 1.5 by 8 by 28 millimeter scope. Uh, it's a new lineup. Um, Includes the scope, uh, the fast fire, the fast fire scope tube mount, and then this AR pepper mount. And one thing to notice this is not the quick disconnect, this is the old style. You're gonna need uh, a wrench, and I actually did not capture what size that is. Alright, so let's talk about some of the uh, uh, specifications here. Um, the unit was made in the Philippines. There's a, a sticker under here with the serial number. I don't really want to show my serial number, so just trust me, it says made in Philippines. Uh, it's 12.75 inches long, plus whatever additions these scope covers provide. So you take the scope covers off, and there's your uh, 12 and 3 quarter inches long. Uh, if you take the scope completely out of all the mounts, you're looking at uh, 23.5 ounces. And once you add the mount, the fast fire, the fast fire mount, uh, you're looking at 32.5 ounces, so two pounds for your scope. It's pretty heavy. Your uh, one of the things I was looking for was one of the uh, levers for the zoom ring because this zoom ring is very stiff. You're not going to be able to quickly turn that. So I was looking at an MGM quick lever, and uh, they do not quite have the specs out for it yet, so I took a caliper and measured it. And if you're going to go with the MGM, you're going to want to get the 1.77 to 1.80 universal. Again, that's 1.77 to 1.80 universal. Uh, if you talk about the lands and the grooves, the lands being the top part here, the highest raised part, uh, that is... 1.772 inches and then when you go into the actual grooves itself that's 1.708 inches and then you have uh, ter you have enough space from you can see how it starts going back down here so from the top here to the top over there uh, you're looking at 0.71 inches front to back All right, Fast Fire 3, Burris. All right, it's got four selections. So if you press it one time, it goes into automatic mode. I doubt I'm going to be able to get and capture it here. 
lining up with the camera. Anyway, there's a light sensor on the front. I'm pointing at it right there, that little dot. It takes the ambient light and it figures out whatever the best is. So your first button click is auto. Your next one is uh, full, medium, low, and then off. Uh, there is a three hour auto shutdown. Uh, this particular fast fire is a 3 MOA unit. Uh, there we go, 3 MOA dot. Let's see if I can go to full and get that dot. There you go. It's just a dot, nothing fancy, no chevrons. Off. There we go. Um, let's see, here's your cover. Put the cover on it, you can still hit your dots. Uh, the cover has uh, some lenses in here, um, probably just dust cover quality, and of course some uh, type of sunshade. I've never used one of these, so I don't know how efficient it is. Oh, and let me start off. I don't know anything about scopes other than the research I did for this guy. This will be my first optic. So if you want details on how effective it is or how to mount it, go find some other videos or do your own research. I'm not going to be able to help you very much. Uh, the fast fire takes a CR1632 directly under that cover right there. And you can see I've already marted up the paint a little bit. Um, you will not be able to use that precision screwdriver to pop that, that battery cover off. I had to bring out a different screwdriver. All right, the AR pepper mount. Um, I've heard a lot of reviews or read a lot of bad reviews about these manual that they they'll shatter or they'll shear off. Uh, they tend to break right over uh, right where the threads stop and go into the body of this lever. Um, I don't know how old that is. I don't know if they've addressed it or not. Uh, but I was a little disappointed when I found out it was uh, not the uh, removable quick lever style. Um, I'll run this until I have issues with it or if I start feeling that there's any kind of jitter. Um, I'm thinking about going with a quick detach just because there's so much real estate this thing's taken up. I don't know if I want to run this 24-7. Uh, I'd very likely go with a LaRue, and that's only because I'm familiar with LaRue. I've got a lot of their equipment. Um, I'm sure there are other equally fine mounts out there. That's just my choice. Um, all right, going on to the scope itself, the dust covers are included. I remember reading some people talking about how you pay a thousand dollars for a scope like this and there's no dust covers. Well, there are in this guy. Um, you've got your reticle focus here. I was a bit of an idiot when I first got it because I was putting it up to my eye going, why is it so blurry? And with the dust cover covering it, I didn't know where the focus ring was, so I was wondering if these were, you know, infinitely focused, and it took me a while to finally figure out, hey, it's actually under here, and it works pretty well. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the reticle cover here. And this is a lit or illuminated reticle. It uses a CR2032, uh, I believe. If I got the, yeah, CR2032. Uh, button battery that goes under here and there are I don't know if it's, this will come through very there we go there's some of the numbers off one two three four five six all the way through 11 now what's nice about this is you can hear the clicks they're very nicely detented you can actually feel it I don't know if you can see that this inner ring spins at a different rate than the outer ring does what ends up happening is every click, or it's you, you only get light on every second click. So one click will turn it off, the third click will turn it on to whatever the, the high or the next higher or the next lower level is. So you don't have to go from zero to six or from uh, eleven to six. You can stop in between each one of your clicks, each one of your light levels. So I found that really nice. I have not determined if there's an automatic shutoff or not. Your elevation has a positive stop at zero. Okay, that's, there we go. 
it stops there. Won't go anymore. All right. And again, that's a very firm, I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, and it's one tenth of a mil per click. Uh, the windage does not have a positive stop. Again, it's one tenth of a mil per click. And it goes up to like 4.5, right? 4.5 left. Your eye relief is 3.75 to 4 inches per the website. Um, you better get that, that eye relief right or you really get that tube effect. Alright, I'm not sure why I'm not getting a good focus there. There we go. And I believe I've covered everything I wanted to talk about. It's listed as a waterproof, shockproof, fogproof, nitrogen filled and forever warranty scope. Um, I think it's kind of bright. I've been looking at this uh, at night and I've been able to clearly see what I'm looking at. Um, it feels like there's a, there's a lot of light being captured. Uh, same thing on cloudy days. I'll look out my office window and I can see quite a few blocks away and uh, captures a lot of light. Um, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't seen any other videos out there, so I wanted to post this, get it out there real quick. Again, this is the Burris XTR2. It's a 1.5 to 8 power scope, 28 millimeter, what do they call it, an objective lens? Ever what? Uh, enjoy.